Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to, I'm going to show you my breakfast. And this is, actually, I think it's kind of common because don't we, a lot of us have these random packs of oatmeal in your pantry closet or a basket or your junk drawer or somewhere. And sometimes oatmeal just really doesn't sound like what you want that morning. Well, guess what? Dun, dun, dun! I'm gonna show you how to turn it into a waffle. Yeah, we've got my, uh, we've got, we've got the waffle maker out. And so right now, it's not plugged in at the moment. So right now, please don't hurt me. Please don't burn me. <laughs> please, please, pretty please. I have one really sad banana here that was also sitting in my freezer. It was frozen. I put, anytime I have bananas that are on the brink of going bad, I throw them in the, into the freezer. You know, um, skin and all. Katie, Katie, get down. And so when I want one to use it for something like this, I just take it out of the freezer. I let it defrost a bit. They do defrost quite juicy, which is nice because they add a really good flavor to whatever it is that you use them for when they're like this. And we are going to be adding a little bit of baking powder. That way it gives it a little bit of poof. I have one raisin, date, and walnut packet, so I'm not going to puree or grind up that one, but I do have two of the original oatmeals. So what I'm gonna do with these, I'm gonna turn these into oat flour, and you can do this in a blender, or I have a coffee ground mix uh, grinder thing here that I use, and I don't use it for coffee, I use it for stuff like this. And this, I picked this up, I was lucky, I got it for 10 bucks at Walmart. Pretty good deal. And there's a line in there, as you can see, like right there. There's a line. Don't go past that line. Otherwise, it won't grind up very good. There's both packets in there. No, I stand corrected. That needs a few more seconds. Yeah, that's much better. And that is definitely what we're looking for. That looks an awful lot like oat flour to me. All right, now I'm going to add my raisin date and walnut oatmeal packet. Now we stir it up to see if the banana is going to provide us with enough liquid, which it is not. So we're going to add in a splash of water. I have a quarter cup of water here, so I'm gonna put about half of it in first. Almost forgot the baking powder. Teaspoon-ish. Yeah. Add the rest of the water. Hopefully that makes it thin enough. I think I want a little bit more in there. I want this a little bit thinner. All right, so that's about half of that quarter cup. Oh yeah, I think this is going to be freaking perfect. We are ready to cook our waffles. Oh, wow, smoke, smoke, smoke. Let's get going. We got our usual butter spray. Now I'm gonna spread this one out some because I want full waffle. There we go. I think that looks good. What do you think? Gonna drop the lid down and we'll see what we end up with oh I think we're done we're not steaming and I can smell this it smells good so let's open it up and see what we have oh my did it stick no it did not stick but how is the other side looking you know what I'm gonna leave that in for a few more minutes I don't honestly think it's completely done I think we're done this time. Yay. It doesn't look as chewy. Oh, yeah. Yep. Now, <clears throat> it's not crispy yet. It might crisp up as it sits on the plate. So, we're going to go ahead and do another one because I'm going to go ahead and put one of these in the refrigerator and have it for breakfast tomorrow. 
That way I don't have to mess with it. Waffle number two is looking like it's sticking a little bit because I forgot to spray. I don't think it matters. There it comes. It's coming out. There we go. Is it done? It is done. We're going to keep it simple, stupid, you know, the whole kiss thing. And I'm just going to use some of the sugar-free Walmart Great Value Syrup. If the bottle looks a little dusty, that's because I found it in the back of my cabinet. Oh. <laughs> and now, we're going to see, can we cut it? Ish, kind of, maybe. Can we cut it? Yeah. All right, let's give this a taste. Oh my gosh, I love that. Okay, yes. This is so much yes. Absolutely. Just make sure that you cook it long enough. Now, this particular waffle, through the magic of editing, looks like it only took, you know, a minute or two, which is not true. It actually took about five to six minutes inside of the uh, waffle maker to be fin be get done, be finished. And then the second one, this one here, it took less time. But you want to watch for the inside of these little squares to turn dark. Now you can also turn these into pancakes. I bet they'd be absolutely delicious that way as well. So I got my breakfast for this morning. And I'm going to eat this and then head out and do some DoorDash. So, yeah, I'm going to breakfast for tomorrow. Yeah, I can definitely taste that banana. It's got a very nice nutty banana. Just, It's just really good. I mean, definitely, definitely try this. I'll see you soon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.